Yo, what up? Yo, I need you to come to Vegas right now. Like, right now, right now. Bro, I can't just drop everything I'm doing and come to Vegas. Like, there has to be a good reason why. I got a new Travis for you. The golf shoes? A S A P. All right, all right. I think I'm going to make it work, bro. I'm literally going to leave right now. I'm sharing my location with you right now. Say less. I'm on my way. <laughs> okay, yeah, I just got paid. Okay, cool. Pay for what? Where's the shoes? The guy just paid is is gone. You sold them? I mean, all for two goods. So just, no. I just drove four hours from LA. I, I I pay for your gas. I have a Tesla. I don't need gas money. Okay, I I pay for the battery. I buy you a new battery. <laughs> <laughs> Another day, another Travis. Today, we're gonna be looking at these right here, the Travis Scott golf shoes. Now, I don't know what happened. They said no more Jordan 1 lows, right? I'm actually really excited about these because I'm a huge fan of the color blocking. I think these are better as far as color blocking over the reverse mochas and the Phantom Blacks. Like if I rank these with the other Jordan ones, this would probably be, what is that? OG, Fragment, Olives, probably these ones, and then Phantom Blacks, and then Reverse Mochas. That's my order. But looking at these, it's obviously, they're gonna do good quality because it's a collab compared to other golf shoes. You got a nice little suede, good cream leather, nice little golf bottom on there. They did the Travis patch right here, and then they did the Jumpman golf on the tongue, and then on the back. It's, it's basically the same exact shoe. It's just golf bottom, and then it's got golf instead of regular. Nike Air. And then on the insole, I was interested to see the insole with these because usually when they do the golf shoes, they do like the satin insoles. This one, I, I don't know if it's really satin, but it's got the Jordan Golf Cactus Jack wing logo right there. And then on this one, they have the Travis Scott and then they got the little Travis face right there. So I don't know. When do these come out? September? Halloween? Oh, oh yeah. Sorry. October. It's October already in Vegas. I don't know where it's Halloween in here now. In my opinion, in person, these are fire. And I know what you guys are gonna say, Kais, you don't golf. We've never seen you golf before. You don't you don't belong in those shoes. Hey man, look, how many of y'all wear SBs and you don't skate? All right. How many of y'all wear Jordans and you don't hoop? I'm gonna wear these to mini golf. I'm gonna wear these to top golf. Let's go golfing. Let's go golfing. I'm working here, on give, my give him the swing. Give him the swing. I've been working. Oh my Look at that. Sweet. Wow. You know what I'm saying? The Professional. Form. The form is there. You got a nice form. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. What about me? Ready? Bruh. See, see, that is you got to You gotta. Oh, you gotta, you gotta like have twist that. the back. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have the ground. Alright, ready? There you go. There you go. You know what I'm saying? And then twist the back foot, right? There you go. There you go. You see what I'm saying? You see the Let's go golfing. Yeah, but anyway, yo, these are fire. I'm. I don't care what anybody says. I'm wearing these casually. Oh, for sure. I'm wearing the casually too. Yeah, I don't care. We're, like I said, we're gonna we'll go mini golfing. Oh, for sure. Mini golfing. Mini, top golf. I be I be mini golfing in this. I be mini go go karting in this. I be doing all kinds of stuff in this. Maybe hiking with the little. Oh yeah, this is good a hiking shoe for sure. Look. Yeah. They grab the ground good. I be doing my cardio, you know. Yeah, these are fire, bro. Hey. I'm, I'm actually hyped for these. Let's go golfing. If anybody's wondering how these are in person, definitely. Hey, I should acquire a lot of better on these than the other ones that's, I think, what, I, that's I, what i was saying because i think because a golf shoe of course retail probably gonna be higher than normal and it's different even though it's that same like color tone that travis always think, uses it's still a different it's like more like yellow vault type color the back stitching is nice i like them mina what do you think yeah they're fire i like them you like would you wear them too casually or no mm, no i'm not a golfer why are you capping? <laughs> Let's see when they come out. Let's see when they come out. Remember this. Did she clip. just say no? She wouldn't wear them casually. No, nope, she's capping. Why is she capping? She's capping, bro. Since we're here, Chow did bring out some other bangers. So let's quickly show them. Aside from the Travis, these oh, is that whatever people seen already. These are fire, bro. I, I don't care what anyone says. These are the Jordan One Low Florida Gators. This is. The first time I think they did a Jordan 1 low, like college PE. They've been going crazy with the lows. Bro. I'm not gonna lie. Got the little alligator on the inside. The yeah. reason why I like these, bro, the quality, the little swoosh first It's like of a baby all, skin. It is. It's, it's like a baby's butt. Yeah. No diaper. Yeah. New buck on the toe, little baby swoosh, and then the satin sock liners, quilted is so sexy, and then gum bottoms, man. 
the gum bottoms. And Chow got this set right here. This is one of one. <clears throat> one of one. Like true one of one. You got a freaking, this is in like a pelican case or something. Yeah, this is I don't a even true know how to open this. I let you open it up, show the audience. Oh, and it has like the Kobe hidden language. This yeah. is like a special language that was on Kobe's shoes. You gotta like, they had like the translation online back in the day. I don't know hey, if they still look, have it, but. You turn it over, right? Yeah, turn it around. Look, okay, I'll let you do the rest for the audience. Look at this. Boom. This is so crazy. So this was like a, it's like a one of one promo set. Apparently, what's the backstory? So the backstory for this was, that's how Nike showcased to Kobe when they make the shoe. Like that's why that's, this whole setup is all related to Kobe. Yeah. And there's colorways on here. Oh, I didn't even realize the different colorways. I know that they had the, the shoe on it, but I didn't yeah. realize each color is matching the different colorway. Yeah. The Bruce Lee. Oh, four yeah. rings. He had only had four. He won his fourth championship. He won his fifth championship in this shoe. Mm -hmm. He won, but that was before the shoe came out. Yeah. Hey, shout out to Jordan Poole. Come on. I'm wearing it one last time before I disown him. Wow. <laughs> so you're gonna get a Chris Paul jersey? Hell no. Damn. <laughs> That's a big box, huh? It's gonna be a summer I gotta get them right. Oh. I think the only time I've seen these is with you. Well, you see it again. You see it again. What's that? Oh, I haven't seen that one before. Damn, you got all the big sizes, huh? I know. Damn, what kind of cheap packaging is this? They break <laughs> down my box because they want to save on shipping? Damn. Damn. That's a sneaker. <laughs> Sneakerheads be like. Yeah. Sneakerheads be like right there. New scene. <laughs> Alright guys, we've been in Vegas for the past two days having a great time out here. I quickly want to show you guys something from our hotel view. Look, literally we're staying at the Encore. We got wind right there. And if you can see right there in the back, it's that giant new viral ball in Vegas. The digital ball, the one with all the screens around it. Yesterday, actually, when we got to our room, it was lit up with the NBA Summer League uh, design. So it was pretty cool. I didn't see the eyeball that went viral, but it's just this is a really nice view. I do want to address something because I know it's probably going to come up in the comments section. It's already come up on Twitter, but I just, I'm not going to get too deep into it because I, it's just funny to me seeing this stuff on Twitter. But basically we already posted the Travis's on social media, on Snapchat and my Instagram story. Chow already posted it on his account. So like we're showing it to the world. Dudes on Twitter are accusing them of being fake. And on top of that, they're already getting their info wrong. But basically if you believe those people, then, um, yeah, all I could say is you're following the wrong people on social media who are just making up fake news for clicks. And look, all I'm gonna say is the pair is real. We know where it came from. We know how it was, you know, how it's early. We would not showcase it to you guys unless we knew it was 100% real. Chow, who is a store owner, who has a business on the line, is not gonna ruin his reputation over one sneaker when he can go and make thousands of dollars off of a regular Panda Dunk. You know what I mean? Him getting that shoe, he doesn't need the clout. He doesn't need the flex. He makes enough money from his store. He's not gonna put the credibility of his business on the line to go viral. It just does not make sense. It's it's not a smart business decision. So when he does show an early pair or I come and promote that early pair and show it to you guys, we know we have nothing to lose because it is 100% real. Say what you want, there's still people who are gonna take this clip and turn it into something it's not. Um, there's always gonna be, be people who hate. There's always gonna be people who accuse stuff. We know how the pair got out. It's not hard to figure that out in 2023. Everyone pretty much knows. And the people who wanna act like they don't know. Like, yeah, man, look, I just, I'm gonna address it on YouTube because I'm a YouTuber. All the pairs that the blogs repost is the same pairs that the YouTubers are showing early. But y'all wanna blame the YouTubers or come after the YouTubers, but leave like the sneaker news and the soul collectors. Like at the end of the day, bro, me and Chow talked about it yesterday and it's funny to us. Like we don't need to address it. I don't need to get on t Twitter to defend it ever or, you know, cause even if I do get on Twitter and start defending it, people are still going to find ways to keep, like people will not say, hey, I'm wrong. You know, they, they won't say, hey, you're right, you're I'm wrong. They'll just keep finding things to nitpick and they'll change the subject. So it's not even worth it to, to address stuff on Twitter. But I don't know, I just woke up this morning 
and I was like, let me just address this on YouTube. Say what you want. I got people who still accuse me of wearing fakes. Gonna be people always out there who think I wear fakes or we show fakes or review fakes or fake this, fake that. But only fakes I've seen are the people in the sneaker community that we don't really fuck with. And we'll end it on that note. Actually, one more note. They're real. Trust me, they're real. All right, that's it, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed the vid, the early look. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Dream Crew family. We out of here, baby. Ain't no gimmick. Don't need no gimmicks. Got no limits. I'm spinning limits. Used to be.